Q Langley, Associate Editor of Tech Radar, and we're talking virtual reality. With the HTC Vive having just gone up for pre-order and selling a whopping 15,000 units in less than 10 minutes, it's clear that VR is in high demand. The VR categories right now are sort of defined by their quality, starting at the lower end, Google Cardboard type, which runs on your smartphone, moving to the kind of middle category, which still runs on your smartphone, but it provides a more premium experience, and then we're going right up to the high end, things like the HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and PlayStation VR, which are providing the really high end premium VR experiences. A lot of companies are working to make VR as accessible for people as possible. Companies like Google with uh, Google Cardboard, even McDonald's are doing their own. The idea is these are kind of low grade, cheap experiences that anyone can get their hands on. But the headsets themselves aren't amazing. I mean, looking at Google Cardboard, you've got a couple of lenses inside a cardboard box. You put it back together yourself and you'll download the apps on your smartphone. But it's a good way of getting VR into the hands of the masses. Um, the experiences you have on them aren't gonna be amazing. You're probably gonna be having to hold the headset up. We're talking short length experiences like music videos and that sort of thing. Uh, but it's a really good way of trying out VR if you haven't done it before and getting a taste for it. But as smartphones get more powerful, manufacturers are realizing they can use their smartphones for higher end VR experiences. So we have things like the Samsung Gear VR, we have uh, LG 360 VR. These are offering better experiences than something like Google Cardboard. These headsets are ones you're probably gonna strap on, you're not gonna have to hold onto your face. These headsets are better for gaming as well, uh, with manufacturers including input controls, meaning you can have better, more immersive gaming experiences that you wouldn't get on the lower end headsets. You're also benefiting from better resolution displays, um, and overall getting that kind of more premium experience, but still at a price that's affordable for the mass market. But there's only so much smartphones can do, and that's where you're moving into the really high-end premium uh, virtual reality market. Starting with Sony's PlayStation VR, which is specifically for the PlayStation 4. Um, this is a really premium headset. Uh, we've already tried it out. There's some really cool games on it already. Uh, we don't currently have a price, but it's gonna be expensive. Um, however, obviously, you're gonna need the PlayStation 4 as well on top of that. Uh, now, the Play Sony PlayStation VR headset um, looks very similar, actually, to the Oculus Rift. Um, but with some you know, cool blue lights on it instead uh, and will make use of both the PlayStation 4 controller and the PlayStation Move controllers uh, which will let you interact in VR and add a whole new level of immersion. Now Sony's PlayStation VR won't work with existing PlayStation 4 games, there'll be new games made for uh, the headset um, and we've tried a few out ourselves, there's some really interesting ones going on out there at the moment um, but what's really interesting is Sony is really just focusing this on the gaming right now. Unlike the Oculus Rift and to some extent the HTC Vive, the other premium headsets, um, Sony's really just about the gamers uh, with the PlayStation VR. And the other thing as well is that it doesn't really have a rival from the Xbox One, uh, which is instead making use of the Oculus Rift to some extent, but doesn't have its own PlayStation One focused VR headset right now. As for when you'll actually be able to get your hands on Sony PlayStation VR, we don't know. We're expecting Sony will make an announcement soon, but we've been told it'll be around about the middle of this year. And finally we come to the most premium players in the VR market right now, which is the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive. These are going to set you back a lot more money and they are going to require a really powerful PC to use, but for that you're going to get the most premium VR experience you can right now. Now the Oculus uh, Rift and the HTC Vive aren't actually that different, but there are a few differentiators you should probably know about. Both headsets are going to be shipping out end of March, early April, but the HTC Vive will come with its own one controllers, which the Oculus Rift won't have until later in the year. Now, for a lot of people, that might be a make or break between the two because the ones, having used them ourselves, do add a really great new level of immersion to the gaming. Um, the Oculus Rift will rely on the Xbox One controller and keyboard for now, um, but will be offering that very similar one controllers later in the year. The experiences you have on the Vive compared to the Oculus might be quite different as well. Vive's putting more emphasis on room scale technology, which means you're going to be able to move around the room a lot with it. Um, while the Oculus Rift does have that technology, it doesn't seem to be putting as much emphasis on it. Um, the HTC Vive also has a front camera, uh, which is going to be used to show you if you're going to walk into a wall or to make sure you don't trip over your cat. Um, but there's also, it also opens up to the potential for developers to do some quite interesting things there. Uh, when it comes to augmented reality, which is where you're blending the virtual world with the real one. So, which VR headset's right for you? Well, it depends how excited you are about VR right now, to be honest. If you're looking at the more premium headsets, they are gonna cost you a lot of money, and remember, they are gonna require a powerful PC to run. Personally, right now, I'm most excited about the HTC Vive. I really think the ones add a really cool level of immersion, um, and I've had some really amazing experiences with it. 
That said, the PlayStation VR is very cool as well. Some of the developers are doing some really interesting things right now, um, and I'm really excited to see you know, when we're going to be able to get our hands on it. We've been talking about virtual reality for so long now, but it's so exciting that it's finally here. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Which headsets are you looking forward to? Which games are you looking forward to playing in virtual reality? And stay tuned for Tech Radar's Virtual Reality Week, which will be taking place at the last week of March. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and we'll see you again soon.